Hey there everyone, thanks for joining me again. Uh, this is going to be um, episode 2 of Random Acts of Birding, which features the, the birds and wildlife I see just going out with no agenda, no plan, just seeing what I can find and film and photograph. I started out in Apalachicola National Forest and they just finished a prescribed burn and we had our first singing Chuck Will's Widows of the year. And came across a couple of cool reptiles, this pygmy rattlesnake. And even though this looks like a snake, it's actually a lizard. It's an eastern glass lizard. And then a couple of weeks later, I had to travel for work and stopped off to look for snakes and birds and other things in Withlacoochee State Forest and found this gopher tortoise cleaning the apron of its burrow. And at Chinsega Conservation Center is a great place to uh, to go bird in and see wildlife. It never disappoints. There was this cute sandhill crane colt sticking close to mom. And then the number of red-headed woodpeckers at Chinsega is, is kind of nuts. I think I lost count at 30, 30 individual red-headed woodpeckers. And then came home and went out to Apalachicola National Forest again, out to Post Office Bay to look at pitcher plants. And of course it's a great place to see pine woods specialists like this Backman Sparrow. There's hundreds of them out there. And then while I was filming Backman Sparrows, I heard um, brown-headed nuthatches alarm calling and saw them dive bombing a red-bellied woodpecker and that made me suspect that there was a, a nest in the tree and my suspicions were correct. I found the nuthatch nest and watched them for a while going in and out feeding their young. As we were driving down the trail, we saw a couple of uh, fox squirrels chasing each other, but they vanished, and the only evidence I managed to capture were the footprints in the wet sand. And this is one of the things that makes Post Office Bay spectacular, is the, the pitcher plants. And then the next day, I was going to go to St. George Island, but I was tired and didn't really fancy the drive, so I went to St. Mark's instead because it's closer to home. This wood thrush was typically skulky, but it came out a couple of times. It's an arm calling at something. Don't know what. Maybe a snake on the ground or something. But it wasn't as skulky as this theory. This is probably the worst video ever shot of a Viri, but sometimes you just have to take what you can get. And there were a few warblers around. Really difficult to film, to be honest. They're moving around, feeding. I heard a commotion up in a pine tree and spotted this baby pine warbler. 
and uh, so watched the parents come in and feed it a few times. Was hanging on for dear life it seemed in the wind as the branch was bouncing up and down. And from the same spot I caught a flash of red out the corner of my eye and it was this beautiful um, first year male summer tanager. And eastern kingbirds are a very common bird here in the summer and they've all started to arrive. I think my favourite warbler of the day was this black and white warbler which fed in typical tree creeper fashion. And then the next day I went over to uh, Tallahassee and stopped by Mikasuki Greenway. I really wanted to try and grab some pictures of purple martins in flight. And they were coming down on the ground and collecting nest material. And then taking it back to the gourds. At nearby Munson Park I found I found a mulberry tree which still had a lot of fruit on it and I got really excited because there were a few birds in the tree feeding on the mulberries but they were all grey cat birds. Still nice to see but I was hoping for a rose-breasted grosbeak or cedar waxwing or something like that. And then I was also excited to see that the lake is really low and there's some shorebird habitat. This lesser yellowlegs was the only shorebird present, but I'll be checking by there once in a while just to see if there's anything different. And then my last trip for this video was again down to St. Mark's. Sauras are usually very skulky, but this one was feeding right out in the open, and I enjoyed watching and filming, photographing this individual bird for quite some time. The purple gallinules have returned for the summer. And while I was standing on the platform, I noticed this large alligator chasing a small one. It's quite funny to watch, especially, especially when the the little gator went behind a tussock and hid, and the big one, it seemed the big one didn't know what happened and where the other one had gone. And then really the highlight of, of my trip to St. Mark's was watching this beautiful male least bitten singing from the top of a tussock. On the way out, I came across an alligator sitting in shallow water and uh, it caught a fish. It was moving around a lot and kind of funny watching the tricolored herons feeding around the alligator without any concern at all. But if they get too close they may end up meeting the same fate as the fish. And then probably one of the most bizarre turtles we have in Florida is the soft shell turtle. And it's got quite a comical looking face. And it was laying eggs by the side of the road. And that was kind of it for, for my day at St. Mark's. So we'll finish the video. Here are some of my favourite photographs from the last couple of weeks.
hope you enjoyed um, watching episode two of Random Acts of Burden. I'll have another one sometime towards the end of May. I appreciate you watching and I'll catch you next time. Thanks. Thanks.